All the heavens and all the realms, all the tribes are vying for supremacy. With the advent of the great world, the power of the human race is weak. Zhao Jing traveled through time and became the ruler of the great Qian Empire. The treacherous officials wanted to climb up a powerful sect and offer their empresses. Zhao Jing activated the mythological summoning system, summoning the champion Ho Huokubing at the beginning, to slay treachery, conquer the sect, and conquer the world, leading the strong rise of the great Qian Empire. In the battlefield of the Ten Thousand Realms, Zhao Zheng led the Chinese heroes to fight against the Ten Thousand Clans, forging the divine power of the human race and becoming the peerless Heavenly Emperor. Chapter 1 Offering Empress to Ensure Peace You are listening at NovelFull.audio The Qian Empire, Shangjing City Imperial Palace, Qilin Palace Zhao Zheng, our black demon sect young master has set his sights on your queen. Your great Qian Empire should immediately offer Ning Zixuan to me to escort her back to the black demon sect and hand her over to the young master. Zhao Zheng, at the moment when Ning Zixuan awakens her divine bloodline, it means that your great Qian Empire cannot protect Ning Zixuan, the daughter of Tianzhao. What? Are you unwilling? Zhao Zheng, if you dare to refuse to hand over Ning Zixuan, then our black demon sect will instantly uproot your great Qian Empire. A middle-aged man dressed in purple stood in the center of the hall, his tone appearing very cold. Your Majesty, you cannot offer the Empress. Your Majesty, in order to benefit the billions of people of the great Qian Empire, please spare no effort to offer the Empress Dowager. Your Majesty, you should not consider the people of the world, but also consider yourself and the royal family. Please offer the Empress to your Majesty. Hundreds of courtiers in the main hall were arguing endlessly. The officials of the royalist faction do not want His Majesty to hand over the Empress, while the officials of the Sikong faction support handing over the Empress Dakian in exchange for the peace of the Dakian Empire. Ignorance Ignorance the Black Demon Sect is the dominant sect leader in the Azure Dragon Domain, with more than ten Divine Realm cultivators surpassing the Heavenly Gang Realm. In an instant, it can make our great Qian Empire bleed thousands of miles and bury millions of corpses. Our great Qian Empire can only continue to establish itself in the Heavenly Punishment Domain by dedicating our Empress. Moreover, with the support of the Black Demon Sect, our great Qian Empire can even destroy the Qin Empire and the Jin Xian Empire, occupy the eastern part of the Heavenly Punishment Domain, and then destroy two sects and five families, dominate the Heavenly Punishment Domain, completing a feat that nine generations have not completed. Sikong Yuan Zhu's eyes flickered with shrewd calculation. Ha ha ha, not bad. Lord Yuan is right. As long as your great Qian Empire is willing to hand over Empress Ning Zixuan, then our Black Demon Sect is willing to help your great Qian Empire unify the Heavenly Punishment Domain. For your Empire of the Great Qian Dynasty, this is a hundred benefits without any harm, it's just a sacrifice for a woman. The man in purple laughed and said. All the courtiers in the main hall instantly understood that Sikong Yuan Zhuo must have made some kind of agreement with the Black Demon Sect. Yuan Zhuo, you traitor, are you worthy of the late emperor? Three years ago, the late emperor passed away and made you a deputy minister. Over the past three years, you have been excluding dissidents and cultivating confidence on a large scale, and these officials are not to be held accountable to you. But today, I will never allow you to have any plans on the empress. Captain Wang Daoren took a step forward and shouted loudly. No it's not good, your majesty is unconscious. In the next moment, the voice of eunuch Zayadizi echoed throughout the entire hall. Hurry up and take your majesty to the palace. Please have the imperial physician treat your majesty. An old royal official ordered without hesitation. It's an adult. Xiao Detsi immediately takes orders. In a moment, there were only over two hundred courtiers and three experts from the Black Demon sect left in the Qilin Hall. However, Sikong Yuan Zhuo's gaze towards Tingwei Wang Daoren showed a hint of sneer. Yuan Zhuo, as the top official of the Great Qian Empire, 
had disciples throughout the entire empire especially three years ago, with the death of the late emperor, Yuan Shua became the assistant minister and almost took control of the entire court. The most important reason for this is that the new emperor did not have a personal rule after ascending to the throne, and his cultivation was far from comparable to Yuan Shua, a master of the eight heavenly gang realms. Captain Wang Daoran had ulterior motives and intended to rebel, so he was imprisoned and executed at a later date. Yuan Shua loudly announced the punishment for Captain Wang Daoran. At the next moment, Yuan Shua hit Wang Daoran with a palm, and the surrounding soldiers put on a spiritual shackle. Yuan Shua, you traitor, you ungrateful villain. The late emperor treated you well. Why did you break your oath back then? Wang Daoran didn't pay any attention to the spiritual shackles on his body, but shouted in defiance. Ha ha ha, Wang Daoran, this is a world where strength is paramount. Three years ago, the late emperor unknowingly wanted to break the taboo of the heavenly punishment domain, break through the heavenly gang realm, and become a cultivator in the divine realm. However, the late emperor suffered a heavy blow and passed away shortly after. From that day on, I became the top expert in the Great Xian Empire. And Zhao Zheng is just a useless person in the Xian Gang realm, how can he lead the Great Xian Empire? Yuan Zhuo sneered and said. Keep it down. Yuan Zhuo looked at a general next to him and ordered. It's an adult. The general immediately took orders. The Seven Protectors Law, three days later it will be an auspicious day in the ecliptic. Three days later, I will definitely hand over Empress Ning Zishuan to you. Yuan Zhuo continued to look at the middle dot aged man of the Black Demon sect and smiled. Lord Yuan, I believe in you. We have a pleasant cooperation. The seven protectors of the Black Demon sect also smiled. These two people decided the fate of Empress Daqian in the most sacred palace of the Daqian Empire. Zhao Jing felt like he was constantly in endless darkness. After an unknown amount of time, he opened his eyes, but everything in front of him was incomprehensible to him. The brilliance of this hall cannot be described in words. Zhao Jing found two men dressed in official robes and more than ten men and women dressed in eunuch and palace made costumes standing in the main hall. At the same time, a gorgeous girl wearing a phoenix hairpin sat beside her. Didn't I get cut to death by more than ten thugs and knives for saving a woman? Did they not hit their vital points and were rescued? In the next moment, memories kept emerging in Zhao Zheng's mind. Zhao Zheng immediately understood that he had traveled to the fantasy world and became the emperor of the Great Qian Empire. However, as an emperor, I am almost a puppet because the previous emperor passed away in his prime, and I do not have enough time to cultivate to the heavenly gang realm, which is not enough to suppress the demons and monsters in the imperial kingdom. Almost all the emperors of the Great Qian Empire were experts in the heavenly gang realm, but they themselves were only cultivators in the Xian gang realm, which gave them the opportunity to become ambitious figures within the Great Qian realm. Especially Sikong Yuan Shua became even more powerful, almost controlling half of the Great Qian Empire. Your Majesty, it's really great that you finally woke up. Your Majesty, for the safety of the billions of people in the Great Qian Empire and you, I am willing to go to the Black Demon sect. Ning Zixuan choked up and said. Ning Zixuan secretly decided that she would commit suicide when she arrived at the Black Demon sect. He could only be a woman of Zhao Zheng in this lifetime. Zixuan, you are my queen. I will never allow anyone to snatch you from my hands, no one can. Zhao Zheng does not hesitate to think and think. Your Majesty, but... Empress, don't say anything more about this matter. I will never agree. Empress, you must trust me. Zhao Zheng interrupted Ning Zixuan's words. In Zhao Zheng's past life, as a great young man among the blue stars, would he allow himself to sacrifice his empress to ensure safety? Even if Zhao Zhengming dies, he will not become the emperor who is wearing a green hat. The mythical summoning system has been successfully loaded. Do you want to receive the beginner gift pack? Chapter 2 Summoning Champion Ho Huokubing 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Zhao Xing listened to a humanized female voice in his mind, and his whole body showed excitement as his golden finger reached. Subsequently, Zhao Xing signaled for Ning Zixuan and others to withdraw from the main hall. Claim the beginner gift pack. Zhao Xing appeared somewhat impatient. Zhao Xing knew in his heart whether he could turn the tables or not, and it was in this beginner gift package. Ding, congratulations to your majesty for obtaining the exclusive summoning card for Hua Tsubing. After use, you can summon the famous general Hua Tsubing. Ding, congratulations to your majesty for obtaining the cultivation techniques of the heavenly emperor's dharma body and the heavenly emperor's eye. Practicing to the extreme can lead to one supreme status in all realms. Ding, congratulations to your majesty for obtaining an excellent foundation building pill. After use, it can cast the strongest foundation. Ding, congratulations to your majesty for obtaining 100,000 spirit stones. Your majesty, the rewards have been distributed. Please complete the first main task as soon as possible and take control of the great Qian Empire. After completing the task, you can receive mysterious rewards. Zhao Zheng sensed the golden and shining summoning card of the champion Ho Hu Tsubing in the system space, and he looked very excited. Hu Tsubing was a famous general of the Han dynasty in Chinese history, and also the first immortal general to be granted the title of Wolf Dwelling in Su. If it weren't for his premature death, Hu Tsubing's achievements would have been even higher, and he could have even entered the top three in Chinese history. Use Hu Tsubing's exclusive summoning card. The next moment, a young man in black armor who was eight feet tall appeared in the main hall. I, Hu Tsubing, pay my respects to your majesty. Hu Tsubing knelt on one knee and worshipped with utmost respect. General, please level up quickly. I am fortunate to have general's loyalty. Zhao Zheng helped Hu Tsubing up and looked at him. He was the first Chinese hero he summoned, and he was also a peerless general. At the same time, information about Hu Tsubing appeared in Zhao Zheng's mind. Name Hu Tsubing Age 21 years old realm Perfect Heavenly Gang Realm Qualification Peerless Talent Blood Holy Level Blood Loyalty 100% at this moment, Zhao Xing believed in his loyalty to Hu Tsubing, and the crisis before him was nothing. And because Hu Tsubing is a perfect expert in the Heavenly Gang Realm, even if the Black Demon sect sends out cultivators from the Divine Realm to enter the Great Qian Empire, it will definitely be of no use. Due to certain reasons in the Heavenly Punishment Realm where the Great Qian Empire is located, local cultivators are unable to break through the Heavenly Gang Realm and become Spiritual Realm cultivators, and external Spiritual Realm cultivators cannot fully exert their due strength upon entering it. At most, they can only unleash the Nine Peaks of the Heavenly Gang Realm. The cultivation system in this world has already flourished to the extreme. Everyone can cultivate, but to reach the pinnacle of cultivation, one not only needs high qualifications, but also countless resources to support it. In the heavenly punishment domain, ordinary people spend their entire lives wandering in the body refining realm. Those with a little background can cultivate to the vigorous Qi realm and become experts in a small city. Entering the Gang Qi realm is only the lowest level cultivator. Above the Gang Qi realm, there are also Xian Gang realm, Di Gang realm, and Tian Gang realm. The strongest one in the entire Heavenly Punishment realm is also the Heavenly Gang realm, and there are also cultivators in the Divine realm above the Heavenly Gang realm. Zhao Zheng is currently only in the seventh level realm of Xian Gang realm, but at the age of seventeen, the seventh level realm of Xian Gang realm is considered a heavenly pride in the heavenly punishment realm. Hu Tsubing, I appoint you as the general of cavalry in our court, commanding the three armies and holding the title of champion marquis. Zhao Zheng rewarded Hu Tsubing. Thank you, your majesty, for your kindness. Hu Tsubing appeared somewhat excited. Go away from illness, open the palace door, I want to give the empress a calming pill. Zhao Zheng instructed. It's your majesty. Hua Tsubing immediately opened the palace door. Your majesty, how do you feel? 
Ning Zixuan asked with great concern. Empress, do you think I look like I have something to do? Empress, this is my cavalry general, the champion Ho Hu Tsubing. With the presence of the champion Ho, it won't be long before our great Qian Empire can unify the heavenly punishment domain and even break the curse of the heavenly punishment domain. Zhao Zheng has strong confidence in Hu Tsubing. However, Ning Zixuan still appeared very worried, after all, Hu Tsubing was only one person, no matter how strong he was. Now that Sikong Yuan Zhuo is colluding with the experts of the Black Demon sect, the enemy's strength is definitely very terrifying. Your Majesty, it's not good anymore. Sikong Yuan Zhuo ordered the execution of Captain Wang Daoran and reached an agreement with the experts of the Black Demon sect to offer the Empress to the Black Demon sect three days later. At this moment, Zayadizi ran into the main hall to report solemnly. The Empress doesn't need to worry, a Yuan Zhuo is not a concern. Empress, I guarantee that you will always be the Empress of the Great Qian Empire, and no one can take you away from me. Zhao Zheng's tone is very firm. Your Majesty, I request General Yuan Zhuo and his faction to be uprooted. Hua Tsubing did not hesitate to ask for help. Let Yuan Zhuo continue to be arrogant for three more days without any urgent need to get sick. In three days, I will let the world know that I am the ruler of the Great Qian Empire. Whoever dares to disobey me will pay a heavy price. Zhao Zheng stopped Hua Tsubing. Zhao Zheng believed that this time Yuan Zhuo would definitely choose to overthrow him and establish a new empire, and on that day, if he took Yuan Zhuo, his reputation would spread throughout the world. It's your majesty. Hua Tsubing stood aside. Zayadizi, please send the empress back to the Changxin Hall. I want to practice in seclusion. Zhao Zheng looked at Xiao Detsi and ordered. It's your majesty. Xiao Detsi immediately took orders. Immediately, the empress left the main hall under the leadership of Xiao Detsi, while Zhao Zheng and Hua Tsubing went to the training hall exclusively used by Emperor Qian. Hua Tsubing guarded outside the hall, while Zhao Zheng entered the practice hall. But what Zhao Zheng didn't know at this time was that the entire capital had exploded. Millions of people in the capital feel very puzzled. Your Majesty and the Empress are very affectionate. Why did Your Majesty push the Empress into the pit of fire? Only court officials and members of aristocratic families knew that this was all part of Sikong Yuan Zhuo's plan, and Yuan Zhuo's plan was quite significant this time. Yuan Zhuo and the Black Demon sect aimed to end the 743-year history of the Great Qian Empire and establish a new empire. At this time, the Sikong Mansion was brightly lit, and more than ten teams of soldiers were constantly patrolling. In the main hall of the Sikong Mansion, Sikong Yuan Zhuo sat on the main seat, with three generals and six civil servants sitting below. These nine were all promoted by Yuan Zhuo as his confidants and core members of the Sikong faction. My mentor, except for the imperial palace, everything in the capital city is now in our hands. Although the imperial guards who guard the palace call us the top elite of our dynasty, they only have 20,000 people. However, this time we have mobilized 200,000 troops, which is enough to offer the forced Zhao Zheng as the empress and abdicate. A general appeared excited and said. Master, three years ago, with the passing of the former emperor, 70% of the royal experts were also damaged, leaving only two heavenly gang realms and more than ten earthly gang realms in the royal family. And this time we not only have six heavenly gang realm masters, but also the three heavenly gang realm masters of the Black Demon sect are willing to help us succeed, even if the royal family has hidden secrets, there is no chance of overturning the situation. Another general held up his wine glass and said. Ladies and gentlemen, you are all proud students of our official position. After this success, you will all be granted marquises. Yuan Zhuo's eyes showed an immensely hopeful expression. Soon, the entire hall was filled with loud laughter. The entire capital seems to be shrouded in endless clouds, and a storm is about to come. P.S. The cultivation realms in this book are Body Refining Realm, Vigorous Qi Realm, Xiangang Realm, 
Earth Gang Realm, Tian Gang Realm. To be further supplemented later. Chapter 3 Awakening Super Divine Blood. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After Zhao Zheng converted his cultivation of the Heavenly Emperor's Dharma body and the Heavenly Emperor's eye, he found that his previous cultivation was not even considered garbage in front of these two unparalleled martial arts. Later, Zhao Zheng took out the top dot notch foundation building pill from the system space and swallowed it directly. In an instant, Zhao Zheng felt a warm current spreading throughout his body without feeling any pain, which was definitely the credit of the system. At the same time, Zhao Zheng could feel his bloodline constantly boiling and his meridians expanding. Zhao Zheng constantly operates the Heavenly Emperor's Dharma body, and he must forge the strongest foundation. This is an excellent opportunity. Zhao Zheng is very clear that if he wants to establish himself in this world and stand at the peak, his cultivation cannot fall behind. He must become a strong person, a peerless and remarkable figure that attracts worldwide attention. He must suppress the ages, dominate the world, and smile proudly in the sky. Two hours later, Zhao Zheng showed a faint smile as his bloodline broke through and reached a very high level. At this moment, throughout the capital city, countless subjects looked at the colorful auspicious clouds that appeared above the palace. There has never been such auspiciousness in the historical records of the great Qian Empire. The gloomy sky just now dissipated without a trace due to the appearance of the 100,000 Zhang colorful auspicious cloud. At this moment, Yuan Zhuo, like the cultivators in the capital city, appeared very confused and unsure of what had happened. Seven protectors, do you know why colorful auspicious clouds appear above the palace? Yuan Zhuo looked at Bai Dan, the seventh protector of the black demon sect, and asked for advice. Lord Yuan, we were all wrong. Ning Zixuan's awakening was not a divine level bloodline, but a supernatural level bloodline. This colorful auspicious cloud is proof that Ning Zixuan has awakened her supernatural bloodline. Our black demon sect is about to prosper. Bai Dan, the seventh protector of the black demon sect, appeared very excited and excited. Seven protections, is the super divine level bloodline very strong? How is it compared to divine level bloodline? Yuan Zhuo asked after him. Lord Yuan, the divine bloodline is very strong. Cultivators with divine bloodline can cultivate to the divine realm without any problem and even to the heavenly realm. However, the lowest achievement of a super god level bloodline owner is the divine king, and there is a high probability that they will break through the divine realm and enter another realm in the future. Biden appeared very excited. Yuan Zhuo was completely stunned. He didn't expect Ning Zixuan, the empress dowager of the great Qian, to have such a strong cultivation talent that she would have the opportunity to become a peerless powerhouse beyond the realm of gods in the future. Seven protectors, but Ning Zixuan comes from the heavenly punishment domain. Can she break through to the divine realm? Yuan Chua asked. Lord Yuan, as long as Ning Zixuan steps out and enters our black demon sect, it will not be difficult to break through to the divine realm. Lord Yuan, if you want to break through to the divine realm, you only need to give up your foundation in the heavenly punishment domain and step out of it. However, when you break through to the divine realm outside the heavenly punishment domain and return to the heavenly punishment domain, both your cultivation realm and lifespan will drop to the heavenly gang realm. Biden stared at Yuan Zhuo. Seven protectors, you're joking. I know my qualifications clearly in my heart, and the heavenly gang realm may be my limit. How could Yuan Zhuo give up such a big foundation? Lord Yuan, everyone has their own aspirations. I won't force you. At this moment, Bai Dan's heart was filled with Ning Zixuan, a cultivator with supernatural bloodline. Biden understands that as long as Empress Ning Zixuan of the Great Qian is welcomed into the Black Demon sect this time, their Black Demon sect will definitely be able to upgrade several levels in the future. In Biden's memory, there once appeared a cultivator with supernatural bloodline on the land of the eastern wilderness for 6,000 years. That unparalleled genius became a top divine king in just 200 years. 
Then he walked out of the eastern wilderness and went to a wider world, pursuing higher realms. The ordinary cultivators in the capital city don't know why there are colorful auspicious clouds appearing above the palace, but they all feel that this is the beginning of auspiciousness, and the great Qian Empire is about to prosper. At this moment, Zhao Zheng felt the power of his bloodline and showed an extremely excited expression. His bloodline had broken through to the level of a supernatural being, and his qualifications had also been elevated to the level of a supernatural being. Zhao Zheng learned from the system that supernatural level qualifications are very rare in the continent where he is located, and belong to a peerless demon that is rare to see for thousands of years. Any cultivator with supernatural level qualifications can cultivate to the realm of saints as long as they have sufficient resources. A saint can completely sweep thousands or even tens of thousands of spiritual realm cultivators, even the top spiritual realm cultivators have no fighting power in front of the saint. At this moment, Zhao Zheng was full of confidence, believing that he could definitely become a top powerhouse in the future. Subsequently, Zhao Zheng continued his cultivation and aimed to successfully cultivate the first layer of the Eye of the Heavenly Emperor. Zhao Zheng understood in his heart that once he successfully cultivated the first layer of the Eye of the Heavenly Emperor, his strength would reach the realm of Di Gang. Two days later, Zhao Zheng passed the level and his cultivation reached the third level of the Di Gang realm, with even higher strength. Congratulations your majesty, your strength has greatly increased. Hu Tzubing discovered that Zhao Zheng had greatly improved in both strength and temperament. Get sick, you can go to the imperial army camp and take over the imperial army. Zhao Zheng then took out a token and handed it to Hu Tzubing. I obey the decree. Hua Tzubing immediately took orders. Zhao Zheng looked at the back of Hua Tzubing as he left, revealing a faint smile. Zhao Zheng believed that from then on, Hua Tzubing would rise up, accompanied by the continuous rise of the Great Qian Empire, and ultimately become a world.Renowned general who stood firm and towering. Zayadizi, are there any major events happening in the capital these days? Zhao Zheng looked at Xiao Detsi in front of him and asked. After Zhao Zheng successfully cultivated the first layer of the Eye of the Heavenly Emperor, he found that he could use the Eye of the Heavenly Emperor to see whether a person was useful to him and loyal to him. And the young eunuch in front of him is undoubtedly his staunch loyalty. Your Majesty, two days ago, a hundred thousand Zhang rainbow of auspicious clouds appeared over the palace, causing everyone to boil in the capital. However, according to reports from the Sikong mansion, this is because the Empress has awakened a supernatural level bloodline. But during that time, my subordinates were always by the Empress's side, and there was nothing unusual about the Empress at that time. Xiao Detsi answered without hesitation. Xiao Detsi, I tell you that the news from the Sikong mansion is only half right. This is indeed a vision of awakening the super divine level bloodline, but the awakened person is me. Xiao Detsi, Tomorrow is a crucial day. You must keep an eye on the inside and outside of the palace for me. Zhao Jing cautioned. It's your majesty. Xiao Detsi immediately excitedly took orders. Xiao Detsi understands that the era of the great Qian Empire belongs to his majesty is approaching, and as his majesty's confidant, he must complete all the tasks entrusted to him by his majesty. On this day, Sikong Yuan Zhuo mobilized 200,000 elite soldiers to enter the city, while commanding the major government offices of the court to begin blockading the entire upper capital. Everyone feels that something big will happen tomorrow, even something they dare not imagine. Chapter 4 Planning by All Parties You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Shangjing, Zongjing Prefecture Zongjing Zhao Luan summoned more than ten experts from the royal family to discuss matters in the mansion. Ladies and gentlemen, our Zhao family has reached a critical moment of life and death. According to reliable intelligence, tomorrow the rebel of Sikong Yuan Zhuo will force the palace, forcing his majesty to offer the empress and abdicate at the same time. This is something that our Zhao family cannot accept. Our Zhao family's nine generations and over 700 years of foundation will be destroyed in an instant. Our Zhao family is resolute and resolute. 
Even if we die in battle, we will never let you and Zhuo feel good. Zhongzheng Zhao Luan threw the ground and said loudly. Ten or so experts in the main hall all nodded. They are all very clear in their hearts that once Yuan Zhuo successfully seizes the throne, their Zhao clan will have no living space in the heavenly punishment domain. Lord Zhongzheng, your majesty ordered the blockade of the imperial palace an hour ago, which may be good news for us. A nine-level master Dao in the Earth Gang realm. Your majesty has not grown up, otherwise Yuan Zhuo would not dare to do anything rebellious. Zhongzheng Zhao Luan appeared somewhat helpless. In the history of the Great Qian Empire, almost all new emperors who ascended to the throne were over fifty years old and became experts in the Heavenly Gang realm. However, three years ago, the previous emperor's attempt to forcefully break through the Heavenly Gang realm and become the first divine realm cultivator in thousands of years, after failing, was very detrimental to the entire De Qian Empire. If it weren't for the confrontation between the Qin Empire and the Jin Xian Empire back then, I'm afraid the Qian Empire would have been destroyed by the joint efforts of the Qin Empire and the Jin Xian Empire. Lord Zongzheng, no matter what, tomorrow our Zhao family will mobilize all the experts and private soldiers to the palace. Even if we fight to the death, we must protect your majesty's life. Another statue of the Zhao clan in the heavenly gang realm, Old Ning Chongdao. Yes, Lord Zongzheng, even if we all die in battle, we will fight against Yuan Zhuo desperately. Other experts in the main hall also joined in the discussion. Hey, if King Ling is willing to lead his troops back to the capital, then our Zhao family's situation will not be so difficult. A master of the Zhao family in the six levels of the Earth Gang realm appeared very helpless. Don't worry about that traitor. During the reign of the late emperor, Prince Ling was very loyal to the imperial family and the court. However, three years ago, after the late emperor's death, Prince Ling sent troops from the fiefdom and colluded with the governors of six or seven surrounding states. Now, Prince Ling has taken control of the eleven southern states of our dynasty, supporting as many as five to six to one hundred thousand soldiers. Now Ling Wang may be hoping that Yuan Zhuo's rebellion will succeed, and then he will be able to rectify the situation. A master of the eight realms of the Earth Gang was very angry and said. Ladies and gentlemen, no matter what, King Ling is one of the outstanding talents of our Zhao family. Even if we all die in battle tomorrow, our Zhao family still has King Ling. Ladies and gentlemen, you all go back and prepare. Tomorrow is a battle of life and death for us Zhao family, a battle that determines our Zhao family's fate. We must give our all. Zhongzheng Zhao Luan stood up and shouted loudly. It's Lord Zhongzheng. All the experts stood up to take command. Subsequently, only Zhao Luan and another heavenly gang realm expert remained in the main hall. Sixth brother, what do you think of our chances of winning tomorrow? Zhao Luan asked. Third brother, Yuan Zhua is after all an eight-level master in the heavenly gang realm. You are now the first master of our Zhao family, but you are only six levels in the heavenly gang realm. In Yuan Zhuo's hands, you may only surpass five moves. Moreover, Yuan Zhuo also has the powerful foreign aid of the Black Demon Sect. Although the Black Demon Sect will not fully assist Yuan Zhuo, the seven protectors of the Black Demon Sect and the other two heavenly gang realm experts should not be underestimated this time. So I don't think our chances of winning tomorrow are high. Zhao Hong appeared extremely focused and serious. Sixth brother, you're right. The current situation is very unfavorable for your majesty and our Zhao family. However, we must do our best, even if we risk our lives tomorrow, we must protect your majesty's life. Zhao Luan patted Zhao Hong's shoulder and said positively. Please rest assured, third prince. I will do my best. Zhao Hong regards death as if returning home. Zhao Luan and his wife smiled at each other, both ready to sacrifice for His Majesty. Sir, Your Majesty has an order. Tomorrow morning court. At this moment, the butler walked into the main hall and reported to Zhongzheng Zhao Luan. Third brother, 
Your Majesty is issuing a decree for tomorrow morning court at this time. I'm afraid Your Majesty may have some backup. Zhao Hong showed a hint of anticipation. I hope so. Although Zhao Luan thinks it's unlikely that His Majesty has a backhand, if His Majesty really has a trump card, it would definitely be a good thing for the Great Qian Empire. At the same time, all civil and military officials of the court received instructions from tomorrow morning's court. The court meetings of the Great Qian Empire were decided by the Emperor. On the day before or a few days before the morning court, the Emperor would pass on the will of the court meeting to the courtiers through the inner censorate. Siko Mansion Sir, I didn't expect Zhao Zheng to hold the morning court tomorrow. What kind of medicine is he selling in his gourd? On that day, the seven protectors of the Black Demon sect proposed that Zhao Zheng offer Ning Zixuan to the Black Demon sect. Zhao Zheng was so frightened that he fell into a coma. Now that a court meeting is going to be held, what is his peace of mind? A second-rank courtier asked. No matter what plans Zhao Zheng has, we will know tomorrow morning. Now we have an absolute advantage, and Zhao Zheng has no possibility of counterattacking. I hereby order that tomorrow morning in the morning court, 200,000 elite soldiers will line up outside the imperial palace. We will go to the Qilin palace, and I will see what the little emperor wants to do. Yuan Zhua is not pretending to think thoughtfully. Yuan Zhua, as an eight-level master of the heavenly gang realm, believes that even if Zhao Zheng has any plans, he cannot stop this eight-level master of the heavenly gang realm. Moreover, he also had five heavenly gang realm masters under his command. Yuan Zhua even felt that Zhao Zheng's holding of this court meeting was to compromise with himself and the black demon sect. It's an adult. Several ministers around immediately took orders. Imperial Palace, Upper Study Your Majesty, all the guards have returned to the palace, and the will of tomorrow's morning court has been passed on to the courtiers. Xiao Detsi respectfully reports. Xiao Detsi, what reaction did the courtiers have? Zhao Zheng asked. Your Majesty, it seems that Lord Zhongzheng is plotting something. There hasn't been much change in the Sikong mansion, it's just that there are signs of the army being mobilized. Xiao Detsi does not hesitate to think. My uncle should be planning for me. Zhongzheng Zhao Luan is a loyal and loyal minister of my father, and he has also watched me grow up. In recent years, my uncle has worked a lot for me. Tomorrow is the end of Sikong Yuanzhu's life. Zhao Zheng kept knocking on the dragon case. Not long after, Hu Tsubing came to the study. Your Majesty, I have completely taken over the Imperial Guards and conducted simple training on them. Now, the combat power of the Imperial Guards has increased by at least 30%. Getting sick, you did a great job. Tomorrow is your first battle to become famous. You go down and prepare. Zhao Zheng looked at Hu Tsubing with admiration. I lead the decree. Hu Tsubing then withdrew from the main hall. Zhao Zheng watched as Hu Tsubing left. My champion Ho, rise up from now on. Chapter 5 Sikong Your Majesty, it's time for you to abdicate. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The Qian Empire, Jiangzhou. Lingwang Mansion, in a large hall. King Ling Xiao Delin military strategist Guo Sheng sat opposite each other. Master, after more than thirty years of patience, I have finally waited for the right time. Zhao Delin took a sip of the wine and said excitedly. Your Highness, Sikong Yuanzhua has achieved great success. This time, Yuanzhua has the support of the Black Demon sect. Yuanzhua will definitely be able to force His Majesty to abdicate. At that time, the prince can launch a northern expedition in Jiangzhou, annihilating the old thief Yuanzhua, and then the prince can rule the world. Military strategist Guo Sheng stroked his beard and smiled. Master, you're right. In the past three years, my king has secretly controlled the eleven southern states. Now, I have five hundred thousand elite soldiers. I firmly believe that as long as I send troops northward, 
the feudal officials and the three border armies within the great Qian Empire will all respond to my king. And no one knows that I have broken through to the nine realms of the heavenly gang realm. Even if I face the old thief Yuan Zhuo, I can kill him. Zhao Delin is very confident. Prince, I suggest that the prince immediately mobilize all his troops near Yenyan Pass. Once news of Yuan Zhuo's ascension to the throne comes, the prince should deploy his troops to launch a northern expedition. If Yuan Zhuo sacrifices Empress Ning Zixuan to the Black Demon sect, abolishes His Majesty's throne, and then enthrones the younger generation of the Zhao family as emperor, then the prince should consider the long term and we need to make further plans. Military strategist Guo Sheng thought for a moment and said seriously. Master, do you think Yuan Zhuo can resist the temptation of that position? Ling Wang Zhao Delin asked. Prince, Yuan Zhuo is an old fox. Over the years, he has achieved the position of Sikong with the trust of the late emperor. His abilities and means are very strong. Yuan Zhuo must be very clear that once he changes dynasties and establishes a new empire, it would be a great mistake for the world. However, if Yuan Zhuo chooses to support a descendant of the Zhao family to ascend to the throne as emperor, then Yuan Zhuo will have control over Dei, which is very unfavorable for the prince. Although the prince controls the eleven southern states of the empire, there are 60.3 states in the entire De Qian Empire. We have little chance of winning against the eleven and 50.2 states. However, I believe that after Yuan Zhuo takes control of the power, internal conflicts will inevitably erupt soon. When Yuan Zhuo's weaknesses are exposed, it will be the day of the prince's uprising. However, the prince needs to continue to endure. Military strategist Guo Sheng calmly analyzed. Master, I understand. I have plenty of time. Although Zhao Delin had some regrets in his heart, he still chose to follow the advice of the military advisor. Because Zhao Delin heavily relies on Guo Sheng, if it weren't for Guo Sheng's loyal support over the years, he might not have had the opportunity to achieve today's success. Moreover, Zhao Delin believes that after Yuan Zhuo takes control of the great power, the greatest possibility is that he will directly ascend to the throne as emperor. Finally, Zhao Delin stood up and walked into the courtyard, looking towards the northern capital city. When a new day arrives. The capital of the great Qian Empire, Shangjing, appeared very quiet because 50,000 city defense troops and more than 10 Yaman guards had already blocked all streets. At this time, only officials and experts from the D-Gang realm can walk on the street. Step by step, step by step 200,000 elite soldiers marched in neat steps from the three main streets towards the Xuanwu gate of the palace, with many soldiers wearing a look of confusion on their faces. As soldiers of the great Qian Empire, they had a deep reverence for imperial power, but now they can only march towards the palace under the leadership of a dozen generals and engage in rebellious behavior. On another street, Zongjing Zhao Luan led dozens of experts and 30,000 soldiers towards the Xuanwu gate of the palace. Third brother, Yuan Zhuo's thief is indeed going to take action against His Majesty today. Zhao Hong faced Zongjing Zhao Lundo. Sixth brother, now we can only choose to trust Your Majesty. If Your Majesty really doesn't have any plans, then we will fight to the death to protect Your Majesty. Zongjing Zhao Luan is not panicked or busy. Soon, Zhao Luan and others arrived at Xuanwu Gate. Lord Zhao, according to our court's law, foreign troops are not allowed to enter the palace. Please let Lord Zhao and others enter the palace. A general on Xuanwu Gate shouted loudly to Zhao Luan. Thank you for your hard work, general. I will abide by the court's laws and regulations. Zhao Luan ordered a 30,000-strong army to form a formation outside Xuanwu Gate, and Zhao Luan and more than 20 royal experts stepped into Xuanwu Gate. During half a pillar of incense, 90% of the courtiers entered the palace through the Xuanwu Gate and headed to the Qilin Hall. Subsequently, with the support of more than 20 courtiers, Sikong Yuan Zhuo stepped into the Xuanwu Gate wearing a golden armor. Boom boom. With a loud bang, the Xuanwu gate slammed shut. Yuan Zhuo suddenly lost his mind for a moment, 
wondering if something big had happened. However, Yuan Zhuo showed a confident smile in the blink of an eye. No matter what plans Zhao Zheng has, he believes he can turn danger into safety. And the seventh protector of the Black Demon sect, Biden, is right beside him. Why is he afraid of it? After entering the Qilin Hall, Yuan Zhuo found that all the courtiers were standing in their respective positions, and surprisingly, all the experts of the royal family had gone to court. Does Zhao Zheng want to use royal experts to kill himself in the Qilin Palace? As soon as he thought of this, Yuan Zhuo showed a disdainful expression. The only two heavenly gang realm masters left in the royal family could be wiped out with just a few moves. As Zhao Luan and others watched Yuan Zhuo enter the main hall, they all clenched their fists and wished to pounce and kill Yuan Zhuo on the spot. However, they understood that they were not opponents of Yuan Zhuo, and they could only choose to endure and wait for His Majesty's will. I have seen Lord Sikong. More than two dot thirds of the courtiers in the main hall bowed and saluted. Everyone is exempt from gifts. Yuan Zhuo said lightly. Mr. Xia Sikong. Everyone spoke in unison. Your Majesty has arrived. Amidst the anticipation of the courtiers, Xiao Detsi's voice rang out. Hu Tsubing led dozens of soldiers to escort Zhao Zheng into the Qilin Hall. I pay my respects to your majesty. Long live your majesty, long live. The courtiers knelt down and said. All the ministers are on equal footing. Zhao Zheng's voice is extremely majestic. Your majesty, thank you. The courtiers are very polite. Of course, there are two exceptions, one is Sikong Yuan Zhuo, and the other is Bai Dan, the seventh protector of the Black Demon sect. Yuan Zhuo, what crime should you commit if you don't worship me? Xiao Detsi's voice echoed throughout the entire hall. Ha ha ha, it's just a puppet. Do you still want to be worshipped by ten thousand people? It's ridiculous. Little Emperor, hand over your Empress Ning Zishuan, otherwise this protector will demolish your Qilin Hall today. Black Demon Sect 7th Protector Biden sneered. Lord Yuan, I'm sorry. I couldn't control this protector for a while. I hope you don't mind. I'll see your performance next. By Dan, the seventh protector of the Black Demon sect, retreated to the side as he spoke. Yuan Zhuo's face only improved a little now. Yuan Zhuo took two steps forward. The aura of the heavenly gang realm was instantly released, and all the courtiers felt immense pressure. Your Majesty, it's time for you to abdicate. Chapter 6 Hu Tsubing, the first master of the great Qian dynasty. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Your Majesty, it's time for you to abdicate. As Yuan Zhuo's voice echoed throughout the entire Qilin Hall. Everyone knows that the final showdown between Sikong Yuan Zhuo and His Majesty has arrived. However, the courtiers found that the emperor sitting on the dragon chair did not make any movement, not even blinking his eyes, which was completely different from the previous emperor. Yuan Zhuo, if I remember correctly. You come from the Yuan family, a prominent family in our dynasty. Forty-two years ago, you served as the ninth-rank county magistrate. Thirty years ago, you became the governor of Luzhou. Twenty-five years ago, you were appreciated by the late emperor and have been making great progress ever since. Seven years ago, you became the top civil official in our dynasty, serving as the minister of works. The late emperor trusts you very much, and I also have high hopes for you. I never expected that you would be an ambitious snake and scorpion, intending to kill the king and seize the throne. Yuan Zhuo, according to our court's law, plotting rebellion will implicate nine tribes. Have you ever thought about it? Zhao Zheng's voice appeared very plain. It seemed like he was talking about something insignificant, but Yuan Zhuo felt even more that Zhao Zheng today was different from before. Today's Zhao Zheng was too calm, so calm that he felt a hint of pressure. In the past, when Zhao Zheng saw himself, his eyes would flicker and he was very afraid of himself. However, today he did not see any fear in Zhao Zheng's eyes, he actually saw the aura of a king. 
But at this moment, the arrow was on the string and had to be fired. Yuan Zhuo kept cheering himself on in his heart. Zhao Zheng, don't be shameless. I want to give you a bit of face, but you don't want it. So don't blame me. Zhao Zheng, I know that you are holding a court meeting today to deal with me. But what I want to tell you is that with the two heavenly gang realms and more than ten earthly gang realms of the royal family, you have no chance of winning me. Yuan Shua revealed his true form in the next moment. Yuan Shua, who told you that I'm going to use royal experts to deal with you. Zhao Zheng said calmly. Isn't it? Yuan Shua appeared very puzzled. And everyone in the main hall also looked at Zhao Zheng, which was not something that was openly displayed. Your Majesty is holding a court meeting today, and almost all of the royal experts have appeared in the court. Isn't your Majesty using royal experts to deal with Yuan Shua and protect his empress? Ladies and gentlemen, the general in front of me is Hua Tsubing, the cavalry general and champion marquis of the Great Qian Empire. General Biao Cavalry should be in charge of the three armies, and all armies within our territory must obey the orders of the champion marquis. Zhao Zheng stood up and shouted loudly. At this moment, everyone in the hall turned to Hua Tsubing. They all understood that Hua Tsubing, the newly appointed cavalry general of the Great Qian Empire, was His Majesty's trump card and his ace in winning the title of Sikong Yuanzhuo. Ha 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 ha, Zhao Zheng, are you crazy? You're a child, I don't know where to find a young man, and you have wild ideas to deal with me. You're really sitting on the sidelines watching the sky. Zhao Zheng, my last question is, are you willing to hand over Ning Zixuan and abdicate the throne? Yuan Zhuo sneered and said. The courtiers also looked at the champion Ho Hua Tsubing with great suspicion. Anyway, Hua Tsubing appeared to be only 20.1 or 12 years old. In the history of the entire heavenly punishment domain, there has never been a master in his twenties who is above the fourth level of the heavenly gang realm. Can Hua Tsubing be a match for Yuan Zhuo? Yuan Zhuo, there is no your majesty in the Qilin Hall. What crime should you commit? Yuan Zhuo, what crime should you commit if you form a clique for personal gain? Yuan Zhuo, what crime should you commit if you privately mobilize a large army and forcefully force the palace? With every word spoken by Hua Tsubing, his momentum doubles. After five breaths, the perfect aura of Hua Tsubing's heavenly gang realm filled the entire Qilin Hall. Pop it! Pop it! Pop it! Almost all the courtiers in the main hall knelt down, and Zhao Luan and others quickly retreated to the side. Yuan Shua's face turned red and his fists clenched tightly. He wanted to block Hua Tsubing's momentum, but he couldn't. He looked at Bai Dan, the seventh protector of the black demon sect in the ninth level of the heavenly gang realm next to him. However, Yuan Shua found that Bai Dan also had difficulty breathing and couldn't hold on anymore. At this moment, Yuan Zhuo understood in his heart that he had kicked the iron plate this time. The champion Ho Tsubing in front of him was much stronger than the previous emperor. Ho Tsubing is definitely a master who has achieved perfect cultivation in the heavenly gang realm. He is the first master in the great Qian Empire and also the first master in the heavenly punishment domain. Pop it! Yuan Zhuo persisted for six breaths and knelt down like a dead pig. Pop it. After three breaths, Bai Dan, the seventh protector of the Black Demon sect, also knelt down on the ground. At this moment, Yuan Shua's face was colorless and he was still in a state of confusion. Your Majesty, the thief's head has been taken down. Please release it, Your Majesty. Hua Tsubing subsequently abolished Yuan Shua's cultivation request method with one move. Zhao Zheng watched Yuan Shuo lying on the ground like a dead pig, constantly groaning, without any sympathy in his heart. Zhao Zheng has never been polite to anyone who dares to take action against him and is preparing to bring him down from the throne. Who are you from the Black Demon sect? Zhao Zheng looked at Bai Dan, the seventh protector of the Black Demon sect, and asked. I am Bai Dan, the seventh protector of the Black Demon sect. Zhao Zheng, our black demon sect has a divine realm cultivator as its seat. 
Although your great Xian Empire has a perfect expert in the heavenly gang realm as its seat, you have no chance in the face of our black demon sect. Biden shouted loudly with all his strength. So you are the seven protectors of the black demon sect, do you think I will be intimidated by you? Your black demon sect is the hegemon of the azure dragon domain. How many divine realm cultivators do you have in your black demon sect? But which divine realm cultivator in your black demon sect dares to easily step into the heavenly punishment domain? Zhao Zheng showed a disdainful expression. Zhao Zheng understands very well that the higher one's cultivation, the less they want to take risks. After all, who can tolerate their cultivation falling from the divine realm to the heavenly realm? Biden's heart pounded as he realized that the Emperor Qian in front of him had a murderous intent on him. Zhao Zheng, you can't kill me. Otherwise, the Black Demon sect will definitely uproot your great Qian Empire. Biden roared. Get sick and kill this crazy dog. Zhao Zheng said calmly. In the next moment, Biden's head left his neck and he couldn't close his eyes. Your Majesty, spare your life. A second rank courtier knelt on the ground and prayed. Your Majesty, spare your life. It was you and Zhuo who forced me. Your Majesty, spare your life. The guilty minister is willing to confess to you and Zhuo's six major crimes. In an instant, dozens of courtiers knelt on the ground in the main hall, begging Zhao Zheng to forgive them. However, how could Zhao Zheng possibly forgive them? When they chose to become Yuan Zhuo's henchmen and act as a scapegoat for the tiger, they should have thought of such consequences. Zhao Luan and Zhao Hong, you two should take these treacherous ministers and try them together with the court captain Wang Daoran. You can judge them as you want. The core officials of the Yuan Zhuo faction must be beheaded. Zhao Zheng looked at the two heavenly gang realm masters of the royal family and ordered. I obey the decree. Zhao Luan and Zhao Hong immediately excitedly took orders. Ziyadizi, pass on my decree. Yuan Zhui conspired to rebel and was executed by Ling Qi. The entire Yuan family was slaughtered. Zhao Zheng finally looked at Xiao Detsi and said coldly. I will comply with the order. Xiao Detsi immediately took orders. Upon hearing Zhao Zheng's handling of him, Yuan Zhuo was paralyzed to the ground. The other courtiers in the main hall all understand that from now on, your majesty will begin to truly control the great Qian Empire. Chapter 7 Zhao Zheng in Power You are listening at NovelFull.audio Get sick, there are two more things you need to do next. The first thing is to control the 200,000 elite soldiers outside Xuanwu Gate, and the second thing is to kill the experts of the Black Demon sect and take advantage of the situation to completely slaughter the Sikong mansion. Zhao Zheng looked at Hua Tzubing and ordered. I lead the decree. Hua Tzubing immediately received instructions. Ladies and gentlemen, please all step down. Zhao Zheng looked at the courtiers in the main hall who had not yet regained their senses and shouted loudly. I have received orders. The courtiers left the Qilin Hall like a general amnesty. After a moment, Hua Tzubing appeared above the Xuanwu Gate. I will be the cavalry general Hua Tzubing personally appointed by His Majesty, who will be in charge of all the armies of our court. Sikong Yuan Zhuo's rebellion was captured by this general, and he was executed by Ling Qi on a certain day. His Majesty ordered this general to take over the army. Now I will order you and others to return to the camp and wait for the military order. The voice of Hua Tzubing spread to 200,000 soldiers. Where did you come from, you're the only one who can take down Lord Sikong. You're not afraid to speak big and dodge your tongue. Brothers, follow me to attack the palace and welcome Lord Sikong. A general from the heavenly gang realm shouted loudly. Yes, the army obeys orders and follows our general to attack the palace. Quick attack city. Immediately, all six trusted generals of Yuan Zhuo ordered loudly. However, how could Hua Tzubing allow them to stir up trouble and successfully ignite the flames? The next moment, Hua Tzubing flew down the palace gate. With one move, 
all six generals were directly killed, and the commotion of the army came to an instant halt. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of rebellion. Who else is going to rebel? Hua Tsubing spoke sternly. All the soldiers lowered their heads. The troops will immediately return to the camp upon hearing the order, and those who leave without a military order will be beheaded. Hua Tsubing ordered. No. This time, all the soldiers loudly took orders. Hua Tsubing showed a faint smile. Although these 200,000 soldiers were not as powerful as the Imperial Guards, they were also a powerful force in the Great Qian Empire. Subsequently, Hua Tsubing led 3,000 Imperial Guards to attack the Sikong Mansion. Hua Tsubing received news that all the experts of the Black Demon sect lived in the Sikong Mansion. Hua Tsubing believed that at this time, the Sikong Mansion had not received any news, and he could completely capture them all. Quickly, Hua Tsubing led a large army to surround the Sikong Mansion. How dare you have the courage to besiege the Sikong Mansion? Who gave you the courage? A middle-aged man from the Nine Heavens of the Earth Gang Realm walked out of the Sikong Mansion and shouted loudly at Hua Tsubing. I was supposed to be the champion Ho Hua Tsubing personally conferred by His Majesty, who was ordered by His Majesty to annihilate the Sikong Mansion. Who are you? Hua Tsubing looked at the middle-aged man in front of him and said coldly. Impossible. Absolutely impossible, how could my father possibly lose? Hua Tsubing, you're lying to me, aren't you? This middle-aged man is almost going crazy. The middle-aged man was ordered by Yuan Shua to sit in the Sikong mansion today. He thought he was going to become the crown prince of the new dynasty, but what he didn't expect was that the imperial guards were waiting. At the next moment, two heavenly gang realm eight-level masters appeared next to the middle-aged man. Death Hua Tsubing watched these two black demon sect masters appear and directly chose to attack and kill. Kid, if you dare to take action against me, find. However, the master of the black demon sect had already left without finishing his words. Another black demon sect expert was also killed by Hua Tsubing. The whole army obeys orders, leaving no chickens or dogs behind. Hua Tsubing ordered. It's the general. The soldiers of the Imperial Guards all shouted their orders loudly. In the entire De Qian Empire, the Imperial Guards were the most loyal army to the Emperor. To enter the Imperial Guards, one not only had to have a certain level of cultivation, but also had a pure family background, many of whom came from the Zhao family of the Imperial family. The Imperial Guards have been holding back for too long in recent years, and today they need to vent their frustrations. At the same time, Zhongjing Zhao Luan and Tingwei Wang Daoren conducted interrogations on hundreds of officials at the Tingwei Yaman. Three hours later, 30.6 officials were taken to the execution platform in Dongshu and beheaded in public, and all their property was confiscated. The Yuan family, the top aristocratic family of the Great Qian Empire for over 500 years, was wiped out. What happened on this day excited millions of people in the entire capital city. They believe that His Majesty will become the leader of the revival of the Great Qian Empire. Go to the study. Zhao Zheng looked at the memorial sent by Zhao Luan and showed a relieved smile. The courtiers in the fantasy world have very strong abilities. Surprisingly, Zhao Luan and others have stabilized the upper capital and more than ten surrounding cities in such a short period of time, and have sent inspectors to dozens of states and counties in the Great Qian Empire to appease officials of the Yuan Zhuo faction. As long as they are not guilty, the court will not pursue them. When Zhao Jing practiced again, he found that his cultivation speed had increased significantly. Zhao Jing understood that this was because his control over the Great Qian Empire had greatly increased. Shortly thereafter, Zhao Jing appeared at the Changxin Palace. I pay my respects to your majesty. Empress Ning Zixuan appeared very excited. Empress, quickly flatten yourself. Zhao Jing smiled and helped Ning Zixuan up. Ning Zixuan is her own wife in this world, and of course, I should treat her well. Ning Zixuan is not simple. 
She is the legitimate daughter of the Ming family, one of the five wealthy families in the Heavenly Punishment Domain. The Heavenly Punishment Domain is divided into the Eastern, Central, and Western regions. There are three empires in the eastern part of the Heavenly Punishment Domain, namely the Great Qian Empire, the Great Qing Empire, and the Jin Xian Empire. In the middle of the Heavenly Punishment Domain are the Iron Sword Sect and the Qinyin Sect. In the western part of the Heavenly Punishment Domain, there are five major wealthy families, and the Ning family is one of them. When his father went on a trip to the western part of the Heavenly Punishment Domain, he made an engagement with the head of the Ning family to marry Ning Zixuan. Four years ago, Ning Zixuan married herself and became the crown princess at that time. Empress, today I will let you know my strength. Within three days, the news of Yuan Zhu's execution spread throughout the Great Qian Empire. Jiang Zhou, Lingwang Mansion. Damn it! I didn't expect Zhao Zheng, the little emperor, to hide so deeply. He actually has a young general with a perfect heavenly gang realm. At this moment, King Ling Zhao Delin was completely bewildered. Lord, there must be a reason for everything. I believe that this champion Ho Hua Tzubing must not be a member of our great Qian Empire or a cultivator in the heavenly punishment domain. He must be a spiritual realm cultivator from outside the heavenly punishment domain. Otherwise, all of this would be inexplicable. A spiritual realm cultivator entered the Great Qian Empire and became the commander of the three armies. His subordinates speculated that the champion Ho Hua Tzubing must have offended top experts before choosing to seek refuge in the Heavenly Punishment Domain. For some reason, he joined the Great Qian Empire and became the General of Cavalry. Lord, I suggest that you send your trusted confidants out of the Heavenly Punishment Realm to spread this news. I believe that Hu Tzubing's enemies will definitely come knocking on you. At that time, as long as Hu Tzubing dies, His Majesty will have no reliance. The prince should take away thousands of miles of rivers and mountains. Military strategist Guo Sheng stroked his beard and analyzed. Ha ha ha, master, you're right. I'll handle it right away. Military strategist, please issue orders on behalf of my king, ordering 500,000 troops to withdraw from Yenyan Pass to their base. Zhao Delin then showed an excited smile and didn't forget to retreat the army. Chapter 8 Zong Zhang's Worries You are listening at NovelFull.audio. This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. Chapter 9 The Arrival of the Black Demon Sect You are listening at NovelFull.audio. When Zhao Luan entered the palace again and saw Zhao Zheng, his face was full of sorrow. A.I. Qing, I have already told you that Prince Ling cannot give up his current power and choose to retire. You don't have to blame yourself, as Prince Ling will definitely regret this decision. Zhao Zheng looked at Zongzheng Zhao Luan with a worried expression and advised him. Your Majesty, I have something I would like to consult with you about. Does the champion Ho Hua Tzubing come from outside the Heavenly Punishment Realm, and did he choose to enter the Heavenly Punishment Realm only after facing a desperate situation and become our court general? Zhao Luning asked again. A.I. Qing, why do you have such a question? Zhao Zheng hesitated for a moment and asked. Your Majesty, General Hua Tzubing's strength must far exceed that of the Heavenly Gang Realm. Because Hua Tzubing entered the Heavenly Punishment Realm, General Hua's strength was reduced to the Heavenly Gang Realm, which most people can guess. Zhao Luan didn't hesitate to express his thoughts. I Ching, although General Hua comes from outside the Heavenly Punishment Domain, he does not have any enemies outside the Heavenly Punishment Domain. Please rest assured, I Ching. You must not fall for the trickery of King Ling Zhao Delin and have no understanding of General Hua. Zhao Jing smiled lightly and said. I obey the decree. Zhao Luan breathed a sigh of relief. No matter where Hua Tzubing comes from, as long as Hua Tzubing is the general of their great Qian Empire, it is their blessing. When necessary, the great Qian Empire will do its best to protect Hua Tzubing. Your Majesty, I went south to Jiangzhou this time and met King Ling Zhao Delin. However, 
King Ling Xiao Delin was very enthusiastic about power and even proposed to rule by dividing the Yanyan Pass. I strongly refused and advised him not to make mistakes, but King Ling planned to resist the court to the end. Zhao Luan then revealed the result of his trip south. I Ching, this is all within my expectations. When a person's power reaches its peak, there is absolutely no possibility of them handing over their power. Now that I have just taken power, it is not advisable to send troops for the time being. Otherwise, the Qing Empire and the Jin Xian Empire will definitely choose to attack our country. After all, our country occupies tens of thousands of miles of territory and has billions of people, which is considered a piece of fat in the eyes of the Qing Empire and the Jin Xian Empire. A.I. Qing, but we also need to be prepared to suppress Prince Ling Zhao Delin. From now on, you can raise food and military supplies. Zhao Zheng said solemnly. It's your majesty. Zhao Luan immediately took orders. Later, Zhao Luan withdrew from the main hall. Half an hour later, Zhao Zheng felt six terrifying auras coming towards the direction of the capital. These are the six masters who have reached the seventh level or above of the heavenly gang realm. The first person reached the peak of the terrifying heavenly gang realm. After a moment, these six people arrived above the palace. Countless subjects in the capital looked at the six cultivators dressed in black martial arts attire above the palace. Where is the emperor of the great Qian Empire? This elder is Lin Yunhu, the sixth elder of the black demon sect. The voice of Lin Yunhu, the sixth elder of the black demon sect, echoed throughout the entire palace. I am Zhao Zheng, the emperor of the great Qian Empire. Your black demon sect is so bold that they have sent someone to send you to die again. Zhao Zheng walked out of the study and said coldly. Ha ha ha, as the ruler of the empire, how dare you speak to this elder like this. You really don't know what to say. However, this elder has a compassionate heart and is willing to give you a chance to repent. As long as you hand over Empress Ning Zixuan of the Great Qian, our black demon sect can forget about the killing of the seven protectors in your Great Qian Empire. Lin Yunhu stood tall and stroked his beard, saying. Step by step, step by step amidst the sound of neat footsteps, thousands of imperial guards arrived at the upper study, all pulling their bows and arrows at the six black demon sect masters in the sky. Little Emperor, if you want to use these ordinary things to deal with us, you may be dreaming. Although I led people into the heavenly punishment domain and couldn't unleash the five levels of the void god realm, I could still unleash the peak strength of the heavenly gang realm. Zhao Zheng, if you don't know the truth, then today will be the day of national mourning. If I kill you and destroy the great Qian Empire, I can also bring Ning Zixuan back to the black demon sect. The sixth elder of the black demon sect, Lin Yunhu, appeared very confident. Your Majesty, I respectfully request war. At this moment, Hua Tsubing respectfully requests his order. Accurate after obtaining Zhao Zheng's approval, Hua Tsubing wielded a long spear and killed Lin Yunhu, the sixth elder of the black demon sect. Old thief, the champion of the great Qian Empire, Ho Hua Tsubing, has been ordered to take your head. Kid, just rely on you. Dare to fight with this elder. You're looking for death. Lin Yunhu was instantly furious. As the six elders of the Black Demon sect and a spiritual realm cultivator with five levels of virtual divine realm, no one has dared to challenge him for over twenty years. Today he will tell the world that even if he enters the heavenly punishment realm, even if he cannot unleash the fivefold combat power of the void god realm, it is not something that others can provoke. Xian Yu Slash Lin Yunhu felt the terrifying killing intent of Hua Tsubing and immediately took out a precious sword to unleash a terrifying attack. Bang! The attack of the two collided, and Lin Yunhu's face became very serious. He found that Hua Tsubing's combat power had surpassed his own, and Hua Tsubing's combat power had reached the perfect state of the heavenly gang realm. Let's go together and kill him. Lin Yunhu loudly ordered to the five people next to him. It's the six elders. 
The five heavenly gang realm masters of the Black Demon sect immediately took command. At this moment, Zhongjing Zhao Luan and the royal expert Zhao Hong both came to Zhao Zheng's side, releasing their strong energy to protect him. Thousands of soldiers from the Imperial Guards were on standby. Everyone in the capital city looked at the battle above the palace. They all understand in their hearts that if the champion Ho Hua Tsubing loses today, then their empire will be ruined. They are silently cheering and cheering for Hua Tsubing in their hearts. Two beloved ministers, don't worry. The champion Ho has unparalleled combat power. Even if there are six enemies, even if they are twice as many, the champion Ho can easily win. Zhao Zheng has strong confidence in Hua Tsubing. Hua Tsubing is undoubtedly the first person under the Divine Realm. As long as the opponent cannot exert the power of the Divine Realm, then the opponent is not Hua Tsubing's opponent. Hua Tsubing's face was full of murderous intent. He would never be lenient towards these enemies who came to the Great Xian Empire with the intention of harming His Majesty and Empress. Hua Tsubing set his sights on the weakest early master of the eight heavenly gang realms among the six members of the Black Demon sect. The next moment, Hua Tsubing appeared next to the person, and a shot directly pierced their throat. The sixth elder of the Black Demon sect, Lin Yinhu, immediately fired a terrifying sword at Hua Tsubing, intending to injure him. However, Hua Tsubing dodged this attack in an instant. Old dog, your black demon sect only has this strength, so why don't you all stay in my great Qian empire today? Hua Tsubing's cold voice. Hua Tsubing, don't be reckless. I am not considered a master in the black demon sect. As long as our experts from the black demon sect come to the great Qian empire, we will definitely be able to uproot your empire. Lin Yinhu said with a stiff tongue. Kill. Hua Tsubing once again shot out and headed towards a heavenly gang realm 9 level master. Chapter 10 Conquering King Ling You are listening at novelfull.audio Lin Yinhu noticed that Hua Tsubing had once again killed a 9th level cultivator in the heavenly gang realm of the black demon sect with all his might, and his face immediately changed. Be careful. Lin Yinhu shouted loudly. However, the ninth level cultivator of the Black Demon Sect's Heavenly Gang realm did not evade Hua Tsubing's terrifying killing move and was directly killed by Hua Tsubing's one move. You all come to my elder's side. Lin Yinhu watched as another person died and immediately adjusted his tactics. They no longer have the opportunity to encircle Hua Tsubing and can only confront him head dot on. Elder Lu, the general of the Great Qian Empire, is too powerful. We are afraid that the four of us will not be able to complete the task assigned by the sect leader. I suggest that we immediately withdraw from the Black Demon sect and report this matter to the sect leader. Please make a decision. A late stage master in the Heavenly Gang realm appears very dignified. If that's the case, then we'll scatter and flee. As long as one of us returns to the Black Demon sect and tells the sect the news, the sect will definitely seek revenge for us. Lin Yinhu also figured out the key to this. It's the six elders. The three heavenly gang realm masters immediately took command of the way. At the next moment, the four of them rushed quickly in all four directions. But Hua Tsubing watched as Lin Yinhu and his companions began to flee, and immediately chased after a heavenly gang nine-level master. After fifteen breaths, Hua Tsubing caught up with him and killed him. At this point, Hua Tsubing had lost the traces of other Black Demon sect masters, and he could only choose to return to Zhao Zheng's side. Your Majesty, three members of the Black Demon sect have escaped. Hua Tsubing said somewhat helplessly. Get sick, you've done very well already, it's not your fault. Zhao Zheng will not blame Hua Tsubing for this matter. No general can do better than Hua Tsubing. If the masters of the Black Demon sect don't escape today, Hua Tsubing will definitely be able to kill them all. However, when the enemy is determined to escape, it is difficult to eliminate them, especially in places like the Heavenly Punishment Domain where the rules of heaven and earth are incomplete. Your Majesty, 
I believe that after the six elders of the Black Demon sect escape back to the Black Demon sect, it is highly likely that the Black Demon sect will send stronger ones to our court. Hua Tsubing expressed his concerns. Get rid of the illness. Now it seems that we can only take action against Prince Ling. I believe that even if the Black Demon sect receives news, they will be fully prepared for their next visit to our court. We must concentrate the power of the Great Xian Empire to resist the Black Demon sect. Get sick, I want you to lead troops south and destroy King Ling. Zhao Zheng looked at Hua Tsubing and said with a heavy heart. I lead the decree. Hua Tsubing does not hesitate to think and think. Zhongzheng Zhao Luan opened his mouth, but ultimately did not express any opposition. Because Zhao Luan understood that in order to resist foreign aggression, he must first stabilize the internal situation. If the time bomb of King Ling is not resolved, it will be a potential threat to the Great Xian Empire. Even King Ling is highly likely to stab the court at a critical moment. And what Zhao Zheng wanted was complete control of the Dakian Empire. Zhao Zheng did not forget that after fully controlling the Dakian Empire, the system would have mysterious rewards. Half a day later, Hua Tsubing led 300,000 elite soldiers southward, and at the same time, Hua Tsubing would recruit 300,000 troops from the states and counties along the way, totaling 600,000 troops southward to attack Prince Ling. With the news of the court's attack on King Ling spreading, the entire De Qian Empire fell into shock. Everyone turned their attention to Jiang Zhou, waiting for a big battle between the imperial court and King Ling. Now, Hua Tsubing, the champion, is pressing down so hard that many people can't breathe. In the past, aristocratic families and clans could still make some profit, but with His Majesty's personal rule, Hua Tsubing took over military power. The interests of aristocratic families and clans have suffered significant losses, and the prestige of local governments has also risen to a higher level. If Hua Tsubing fails to suppress King Ling Zhao Delin this time, it will be a fatal blow to the court. The Great Qian Empire has a history of over 700 years, spanning nine generations of emperors. Within its borders, there are hundreds or even thousands of aristocratic families, all of which are dominated by cultivators from the Xian Gang realm, and even many aristocratic families have experts from the Digong realm. Some powerful aristocratic families have more than seven levels of Heavenly Gang realm experts, and top aristocratic families are highly likely to have hidden Heavenly Gang realm experts stationed. Zhao Delin, the King of Ling in Jiangzhou, also received news. Ling Wang immediately instructed General Guo Sheng to invite him to the Wang Mansion. Master, Zhao Zheng is going to take action against me. He has already ordered Hua Tsubing to lead his army south to attack me. Do you know why this is happening? Ling Wang Zhao Delin asked. Prince, I think it must be because of the Black Demon sect. Although Hua Tsubing killed three masters of the Black Demon sect this time, the Black Demon sect must be the hegemon in the Azure Dragon domain. The Black Demon sect has more than ten divine realm cultivators to sit in. The Black Demon sect has suffered such great losses in the hands of Zhao Zheng one after another. The Black Demon sect will definitely find a place again. This time, the Black Demon sect has sent an elder from the divine realm. So the next time, the Black Demon sect will definitely send stronger forces into the heavenly punishment domain, preparing to destroy the Great Qian Empire and steal Empress Ning Zixuan. According to the information we have received, it is highly likely that Ning Zixuan has awakened her super-divine level bloodline, which is very important for a sect like the Black Demon sect. A super-god level bloodline can completely elevate the Black Demon sect to a higher level. Military Strategist Guo Sheng Analyzed Military Strategist do you mean that Zhao Zheng used his own king to attack in order to concentrate all the forces of the Great Qian Empire against the Black Demon sect? Ling Wang Zhao Delin also understood at this moment. What Zhao Zheng wants now is a unified Great Qian Empire. Prince, the champion Ho Hua Tsubing personally led troops to suppress the prince, which is very detrimental to the prince. Military strategist Guo Xingming emphasized. After all, 
What Tsubing is a perfect master of the Heavenly Gang Realm, and even the Nine Peak Master of the Heavenly Gang Realm doesn't have much fighting power in front of Hua Tsubing. Military Advisor, do you have any suggestions? Ling Wang Zhao Delin asked. My lord, I suggest that you immediately form an alliance with the Qin Empire and the Jin Xian Empire, and ask them to immediately send troops to attack the border of the De Qian Empire, forcing Hua Tsubing to lead troops to return. At the same time, the Lord sends people to seek help from the Black Demon Sect. Although the Black Demon Sect is the hegemon of the Azure Dragon Domain, for the Black Demon Sect, supporting a force belonging to them in the Heavenly Punishment Domain, helping them find Ning Zishuan, and providing them with divine level bloodline cultivators in the future is a steady and profitable business. Military strategist Guo Sheng thought for a moment and took a shortcut. Master, you're right. I'll arrange it immediately. Ling Wang Zhao Delin agreed to the suggestion of military advisor Guo Sheng without hesitation. In fact, Zhao Delin had such a plan in his heart. If it weren't for Hu Tsubing, the perfect master of the heavenly gang realm, he believed that with his master and 500,000 elite, he could completely defeat the imperial army. But a perfect master of the heavenly gang realm put too much pressure on him. The prince is wise. Military strategist Guo Sheng smiled a little. Guo Sheng was afraid that Ling Wang might not be ruthless enough at this moment and would not rely on the power of the Qin Empire and the Jin Xian Empire. In that case, Ling Wang would not have many opportunities. Master, this is my king's last chance. I will definitely seize it. I will use practical actions to tell Zhao Zheng that a Hu Tsubing cannot change his fate. At this moment, Ling Wang appeared very confident, as if everything was in his hands.